Computers have and always will be getting smaller and faster. This has led manufacturers to try and squeeze in as much technology as humanly possible. You may remember a time when netbooks were quite prevalent and then they failed miserably due to how underpowered they were. Well, not anymore. The folks from One Netbook have loaded their One Mix 2S with some of the latest technology. But is it enough to get you to downsize? MakeUsoft.com is here to give you the rundown. As mentioned, netbooks kind of disappeared for a while. Back in 2013, large companies like Asus and Acer announced that they will be discontinuing their netbook models. But over the last few years, the seven inch laptop space has gotten really interesting. The One Mix 2S is actually the second iteration to the original, and it comes with a few changes. Very briefly, it has a much faster processor and faster storage, and has lost the backlit keyboard in favor of set upgrades. Design-wise, it has certainly taken a page off a certain fruit product, but I'm not complaining. Its CNC mold aluminum shell is absolutely gorgeous, and I quote, shock your hands feeling and highlights its sober business atmosphere. Many people who've seen me use it over the last few weeks have complimented its aesthetic and its form factor, which we'll speak about a little later. Toe to toe, the One Mix 2S, which I'm going to refer to as the 2S going forward, can roll with the likes of the 12 inch MacBooks from Apple, whose base model has a seventh gen processor versus the eighth gen in the One Mix 2S. Not to mention the array of ports available on the 2S, as well as a touchscreen and being half the price. It sports an Intel Core M3-8100Y, 8GB of DDR3 RAM, a 7-inch IPS touchscreen display, and a 256GB PCI Express SSD. This PCIe SSD is a massive improvement over the previous generation, and all of this combined makes for a lightning-fast experience. Boot up speed is amongst the fastest I've seen in a Windows machine. Launching apps and overall uses is actually very, very impressive. The fingerprint sensor as well is astonishingly quick. For someone like me who is very, very impatient with computers, I actually was very impressed with the performance of this little guy. Ports wise, the 2S shines again with a variety to choose from. We've got USB 3.0 Type A and Type C, a micro SD card slot for expandable storage for up to 128 gigabytes, a combination headphone jack, and finally a micro HDMI port. Power is delivered via the USB-C port, which is fantastic as you're able to use a power bank to power the 2S. Which brings us to the display. The seven inch IPS display has a resolution of 1920 by 1200, which on this tiny display looks fantastic. At 100% brightness, the 2S is nice and crisp. You have to set the scale to something a little more than 100% as it's small display, but that's perfectly fine. The hinge feels so well built that when you set it to a certain angle and you use the touchscreen, it doesn't just flop over. That being said, the base does move a little when you touch the screen, but I don't necessarily see this as being an issue. Using the touchscreen in laptop mode can actually be quite intuitive. And when switching back to my MacBook, I sometimes wish I had that capability of a touchscreen. Yeah, not likely that Apple is gonna do this anytime soon, but let me know in the comments below if you guys use a touchscreen on your laptop and if you find it useful or not. This segues quite well into the 2S's yoga party trick. The screen can flip 360 degrees and once you switch on tablet mode in Windows, ladies and gentlemen, you have yourself a tablet. Not with some watered down OS, nope. A tablet running full Windows 10, very nice. There's also an optional stylus that you can purchase as well. If you're planning on picking up a 2S, I highly recommend the stylus, especially for note taking. I was also surprisingly impressed with pen input on Windows 10 not just for the handwriting recognition, but the gestures it offers is quite intuitive. The stylus needs one of these peculiar Quad A batteries, which is the same one found in the Surface Pen. It's made from same machined aluminum, and once the batteries are in, it feels nice and balanced and comes in a little carrying case. The two buttons are nice and clicky and make it easy to do some additional actions like temporarily selecting the eraser or select tool. So it's sexy, well-built, has all the ports you need, a touchscreen as well as a full-blown OS, and, well, you knew this was coming, there is a but. There are a few issues, so let's start with the small ones first. The track point thingy is usable, but it isn't great. You have to continuously pick your finger up and swipe to get across the screen. I think a traditional track point where you don't have to lift your finger may have been a better option here. There's also no dedicated scroll button, which isn't necessarily a big problem as you can just use the touchscreen to scroll down but I think the touchscreen itself could have been made ever so slightly smoother. Just texture wise, it feels a little grippy at times. The Wi-Fi, unfortunately isn't great, both in terms of signal strength and output. 
to give you an idea, I ran the speed test on my MacBook and the 2S which were next to each other. And well, you can see for yourself, the results are not great. There's a massive difference, not exactly ideal. The fans on this little guy can get a little noisy. However, you can press function escape, which has the logo for the old backlit keyboard to limit the fans. This does come at the sacrifice of some horsepower, but that's okay in my opinion. I just wish there was some notification or pop-up letting you know what state the limit was on, like whether it was on or off, so you just know which state you're in. My least favorite thing about this device though is the keyboard. Yes, yes, I know, some sacrifice had to be made in the interest of space, but man, it gets really frustrating. I guess if this was my only machine, I'd kind of get used to it, but little things like tab being next to the number one or backspace being next to the letter P and the period and comma keys being half width makes this learning curve quite steep for this keyboard. That being said, the keys do feel nice to type on both in terms of texture as well as not feeling cheap or mushy. So that's my whiny bit over. I've left it on a positive note, so I guess I don't feel so bad. Right then, should you go out and get one? Now maybe I just got lucky here, but I had a Ubiquiti installed to do the other day. Fantastic products, I might add, ubiquity ones, and the server rack was about 16 feet off the ground, so I had to spend a bunch of time on the ladder. This little 2S was fantastic for that. It fits so well in my back pocket, and because it has all the capability of a full-blown laptop, I wasn't restricted by a mobile OS or lack of a keyboard or not having an ethernet port. It was just really, really useful. The size and speed just made working in a tight spot much easier than, say, lugging a laptop up and down every time. But that's not the only use case. For someone who is very restricted on carry capacity or they have a monitor, mouse and keyboard station and don't need to work on the small screen often, this is a great choice. Let's be honest, it's not for gaming or heavy media use, but taking notes and in terms of being feature packed, the 2S is a great little machine. I think for the vast majority of people, the specs are more than adequate. The keyboard unfortunately really lets this little guy down. If you've got a lot of typing to do, you're gonna have a bad time. I'm also not sure why the Wi-Fi was so bad. Hopefully it's down to software and not a bad choice of antenna and they release a fix soon. So thanks for watching guys. We'd love to hear from you about anything you'd like us to review. So please leave your comments down below and let us know if you think netbooks are going to make a comeback or if you think that this is the kind of thing we'll be walking around with in the future. You know, just like a single device that'll be our phone, computer, tablet and everything in one. And we'll just have like docking stations all over when we need a fuller setup. Cheers guys, we'll catch you in the next one, peace.